Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a sign I've been looking to bring you folks along with me too for quite some time. My name is Frank. You are joining me here for my Dairyman's Diary for what is the beginning of the new chapter for myself and my family here. Uh, this is my vlog. We're coming back to you. We've just moved over finally from uh, Meadow Grove. We said goodbye in the last episode there of the vlog and we're, um, well, we've been busy. We have been very busy. It's been about a week. We've moved. We have actually moved. And I am delighted to say that we are... Well, we're, we're nearly... Not quite settled, but we're nearly settled into our new farms. Today, as we come through the village of Shelton here, we're going to ride on out to our first... Um, the bigger farm of the two, really. As we come over what is a beautiful old canal. Uh, and we're going to head up to the cattle farm. The cattle are already there. We brought them in the first... Uh, uh, well, we brought the loads in last night, actually. There's a lot of... They've settled down a little bit now. They were very loud up until just before. But yeah, they're looking a lot better now for it, I must admit. So we're going to take you along for a bit of a ride. We're going to go and swing on in, check in to the new place there. Show you what we've got set up so far. Show you the, the tour of uh, Farm 1. And uh, then tomorrow, we're going to be coming back with another episode there where we're going to show you Farm 2. And we're going to get uh, a bit of a plan and a roadmap set out for the future. Uh, but like I say, first things is first, uh, we're going to turn up. This, is the, this, farm is, uh, this farm has two driveways. And we're going to head on up this way right now because we're going to jump on in. And this is going to allow us to kind of just get an idea of what's going on. Uh, like I say, this one's the main farm. This has the most of the machinery brought in. We're still carting bales in on the daily at the moment. There, They haven't all arrived yet. Uh, but I do have a new piece of equipment. Uh, we, we traded something out that I didn't see coming. And um, some of you are going to like it. Some of you are going to be a little bit upset by it. And uh, unfortunately, it means that the mighty, mighty Pouse is no longer with us. Ooh, we'll get around that corner there. It has been left uh, in Meadow Grove. Uh, a local farmer bought it because he had a small narrow yard. And I was starting to feel that it was a little bit too small for my needs. So a little bit light. Uh, so I'm going to park this here because... Because, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to farm number one, Autumn Wood Farm. Uh, now, I showed you some drone footage of this when we realized that we'd purchased it or we had an agreement in place. You'll see some of the cows looking very well over there. Uh, and yeah, we've gone for it. Now, as you'll see... We've moved bits and pieces in here. We haven't moved all of our, our bales across at all. I've got enough bales of straw, of hay and silage in the yard here because we need to keep the cattle going. We have the Keenan mixer here as well, so we need to get those fed up today. Uh, but yeah, we've got enough just to keep them going with for now. Uh, we've got our balers brought over here as well. We need to fill these sheds up properly. Uh, we just got to put things into bays where we could. Uh, but this might well rapidly become our baler shed. Uh, and look at this. Lo and behold, we've got a new telehandler. We picked up a JCB. This is uh, new to us. It's got about 900 hours on at the time of purchasing it, and it is a TMS. Uh, what is it? 320. It's got in the door there. 320S. So it's significantly more powerful, bigger unit than the, the Paus. A little bit longer reach on it as well. So we're starting to lug around a lot more bales. So I wanted something with a bit more stability to it. So this is going to really hit the ticket. So loving that. Like I say, this shed is going to be predominantly filled up with hay and straw. We're going to bring some straw in over here as well. Um, this stuff is just here. We need to get rid of it at some point now. That's some old knackered bales, really. Not much good for anything. But perhaps been a little bit of a windbreak. Uh, we may well get some sheep into here soon. Uh, but for now, we're just coming in with our silage bales here. This is a bit of a storage yard, as you can see there. We've got a load of uh, silage bales in here as well. Just enough to keep us going. There's still a lot of bales over at my buddy's yard. So we're going to have to... Try and get those carted across as quickly as possible there. So that's going to be another job for us. Uh, we'll probably take you along for a ride with some of that, actually, in all honesty. Uh, but yeah, this is very much going to be our yard here. Now, as you can see, uh, we've got a lot of the equipment across here. I'm not sure if it's going to stay where it is. Uh, but a lot of it's going to have a fair chance to. And you'll see as we look here, all of our uh, equipment has been tucked away nicely. There's a big old shed down here, which the lovely little Massey is tucked into. So we're going to uh, get that into there and have a bit of a play around with it too because uh, I want to... Well, we're going to have to put some silage into there soon today. Uh, now, this beauty thing about this farm is it was once um, a beef production and we are going to be utilising that a lot uh, over the course of the coming days. Uh, well, coming years, actually. We're going to start to bring in some cattle into here for finishing. Uh, we're going to raise some calves as well. Uh, so this is probably going to be playing a key part of this. 
uh, and our family home, our new farmhouses here. We're not going to show you too much of the farmhouse, actually. We're going to keep that a little bit private, uh, just to kind of keep things going. Behind you over there, you'll see that is actually a local store that we're going to try and support where we can. But yeah, this is our uh, our entire yard here. Uh, as we look at through the cattle, uh, we're going to come in and actually give these get these guys fed up here today, I reckon, uh, just to get them going. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, we are. They're looking good. They're looking healthy. They didn't weren't too distressed by the move across there by any stretch, which is fantastic news. Uh, there's still an abundance of fresh grass out here as well, so they're, they're going to stay out there and eat as much of that as they can for now. Uh, it is it is autumn though, so we're going to have to start getting them in, on inside soon. Uh, we're early September here as it stands right now, so we'll have to look into that. Uh, all the tractors have made it across though. Nothing's changed there, uh, which is fantastic news. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just bring on in that truck uh, with the ATV in there. We're going to go out for a bit of a spin in the ATV, I reckon. Uh, and yeah, there's only a few more bits of equipment that we need to transfer across here. The loader for the tractor. We did get rid of one loader in the deal as well when we traded in to get the uh, JCB. So the 6820 is no longer going to have a, a loader on there. Um, so we changed that one out, which is pretty cool. And we've just got, yeah, the class Torian has stayed with us. That is over at the yard too. You're going to see that tomorrow. Uh, and we're going to take one of the tractors over there, I think, as well, and keep one over that end. Uh, but yeah, I um, cannot wait to get properly started on here. Uh, what we'll do, like I say, is we'll just stop this about here. And then we're going to get our, uh, get our ATV off, because we're going to go for a bit of a drive. Now, before we do that, let's just see if I can get out my, uh, and pick out my computer here. And I'm going to show you, this is our kind of land that we own. Now, this is my uh, computer here uh, that kind of has all the land management. This has got my gatekeeping software on here right now. So what we're going to have a look at as we are looking through here. This is uh, uh, to the east of us lies Chellington Village. This is where we were at. We just drove through. Uh, and then there's some huge farms here as I kind of drag around the local area. You'll see the, some of the farmland is massive up at the top end there. But we are going to be very much focusing on... Uh, our land down here. We don't have as many acres at the moment as we used to there. The farms that we have bought uh, come into the, being around about 400 acres all in. Uh, 427 I think is the actual total. A little bit of woodland in there that we can't do too much with but uh, it's there nonetheless and that's all. Uh, we're probably going to keep it. We might even look to try and plant a few more trees around the farm actually at some stage. Uh, but yeah you'll see that we've got quite a bit of land here. And so you can see we've got a mixture of land. We have got both uh, arable and grassland here. I am going to look. There's a few tenders I have out at the moment for land, which is actually further to the northeast. So we're going to have to wait and see if that is successful. Hopefully it will be. And I'm tempted, very tempted by the idea of just converting all that into arable land and allowing me to bring some of the ground closer to home here back into, uh, back on into our uh, grassland. Now... The land itself, let's get onto my ATV here. The land itself is a bit of a mixture. Uh, there is some heavy clay around here, there's a bit of silty ground as well, and it's all, all over the place. It's, a lot of it's been just uh, uh, permanent pasture, and uh, I am going to be changing some of the status of that because I want to rotate around a little bit more. So we're going to look into doing that now, but before we can do it, like I say, we need to get the uh, the okay from the, uh, in terms of the land re uh, registration there and uh, filling everything in as far as my uh, single farm payment schemes go. So we need to get that all taken care of. But yeah, we are going to be looking to kind of get everything taken care of there. And, and I want to kind of give a bit more diversification to the land. What we are going to do is just beetle on down here. You'll see this track is the track that we came in on. But we're actually also going to take a little bit of a drive just around to the bottom here. Uh, like I say, some of the land, we need to kind of figure out what is actually going on with some of this land here and what's the state it's in. Look at that castle over there. It's a thing of absolute beauty. It really, really is. Oh, and got a bit close to the wall there, Frank. Never mind. Scratching up my gator already. Uh, and yeah, so we need to kind of figure out what we're going to be doing here. We, uh, we To that extent that I am going to be getting, I found a, an agronomist in the area that I want to get in because we want to just test all the soil samples there. I want to test all the fields, see what the soil quality is like so I know what I'm working with so that we can eventually treat it to get the best yields for our grass, which will hopefully mean the best uh, milk and quality grass as well. Um, now at farm two, farm two was a, uh, this is a little village by the way we're going to drive through here. It's absolutely beautiful. Look how quaint this thing is. Um, farm 2 is has a setup to be dairy, but we're probably going to be looking at using that for beef finishing, I think. 
Uh, we're going to be bringing cattle in there to finish them up for uh, beef sales. So, uh, and then we're going to try and shift our stock away or herd away from being all uh, from being all uh, dairy cattle. Uh, or Holsteins. We're going to try and bring in a little bit of a blended uh, uh, stock as well, just so we can um, bring in a, a little bit more on the beef side things. So that's what we're kind of looking into doing. It's a long process. It does take a bit of time because you got to figure it all out there. But you can see we're coming up around the back end of the farm here now. Uh, we're just going for a little bit of a drive around this beautiful area. We would go straight up that hill there, uh, which would take us on up to uh, farm two. We're going to leave that one, though. We're going to come check in on that tomorrow. Uh, one thing I just wanted to show you, because I caught this the other day when I was having a look around it. Uh, we're just going to stop here. I uh, haven't done any field work there yet. And the main reason being that we just haven't got all of our equipment here yet, to be honest there. Uh, so we're going to try and get that all started soon. I'm almost tempted to see if I can make a little late cut of silage off here. Nothing's been put onto here as far as uh, any uh, nutrients go, for, uh, any fertilizer for myself. But I'm sure there may have been something put down here at some point. Um... But yeah, we do have a bit of a weed problem. So we'll have to get the sprayer on the 66 pretty quickly here to come in and, and take control of that one. Uh, but yeah, like I say, that's something we'll certainly look to do soon. Uh, but this is what I'm going to have to do whilst we get the, everything settled in here. I'm waiting for more straw to come back. I need to just get a basic understanding of what some of these fields are doing. Uh, and we'll see how it's all looking there. But I'd just like to kind of get around and about. Now what we are going to do though today, just going to get everything fed really. Get all of the... Oh, sorry there, folks. Come across. Get all the cattle fed up there. Make sure the troughs are all looking good so that we can uh, move forward with everything else. Get the cattle settled in. That's the main thing. The well-being of the livestock. And there's our... Uh, uh, there's a, a grain store there. And a way bridge there, which is pretty neat, nice and uh, neat to have that so close by. And we're going to just cruise on down here. So we are, like I say, going to take you for a full tour up to the North Farm. The woods of that belong, you can just see down there, they belong to us uh, and to me. So we're going to be looking into get going there. Now with machinery, a few updates to bring up there. Obviously, you've seen the JCB. We're going to get into that now, actually, and, and get the old Massey fired up and the Keenan feeder going. But, but with the machinery there, we do need to have a think about what that's uh, going to look like for us. We currently have no combine, as you well know. Uh, I think I mentioned before the last episode that we are in a position where we're going to be able to buy a new combine. I found one, and it should be coming very shortly. Uh, haven't officially signed for it yet, but we can get it soon. We're in no rush now, really, because well, we're we're in the back end of uh, oh, actually, let's just stick this over here. We're in the back end of autumn, so uh, we'll we won't need one for a year. But it's, if it's available, the right price, you know, I'm going to just jump on that. So we'll see. Uh, but let's get this moved away anyway. We'll fire up the 3090 and then we'll get some bales loaded up here, I think, which would be good. Uh, we'll take that around the corner. And break off. Frank, that always works a charm. Uh, but yeah, I'm hugely, hugely indebted to the uh, my buddy who was able to come and just do a little bit of... Oh, easy. Yeah, around a little bit, well, a lot of haulage for me, actually, there. Without him, I don't know how I got everything across there, but we were able to. He was a uh, massive help there. He's carted all of the different equipment across here, which is great to see. And all being well, we can probably leave that about there for now. We've uh, we've just got it all over at his yard, which is actually driving distance in a tractor from here. Uh, we'll probably go and take a load. It's in the very far end there, so we'll probably go and take a, a grab a load of bales from there. Uh, the... But one of the Brown trailers is actually over at the other yard, so we'll go and grab that at some point so we can get this all set up in way because I really, really want to be able to have a go and uh, getting everything kind of in place. So there are a few sheds around here that are in various different stages of repair. Uh, some of them are going to need to have some work on. This stone shed in here, or this old brick shed, sorry, is not in the best of shapes at all. So I'm not sure what we'll do with about that. The lean-to is actually okay. That's about the only bit that it is. Uh, so we might have to think about how that's going to work. Uh, we're tempted with the idea of uh, knocking it down, but we do also have some land around very close to the edge of the buildings here that we could probably just uh, let's just knock that on, get that mix in. Perfect stuff. We could probably actually just build a new shed and it'll be a lot easier to do, so we might look at doing that as well. Uh, as certain areas around here, we don't really need a silage put in this yard, this is all going to be baled silage anyway. So that would allow us to kind of uh, not uh, kind of. Not have to worry about that, so we'll have to wait and see. 
Uh, what we'll do is right now that we're just going to stick a little bit of uh, hay and then also some silage into here. And then we'll get this taken uh, down. Oh, we'll get these lot fed up here, then we'll mix it up again. Where we can head on over to see the cutlet, the new uh, the yard too there. I uh, can't wait to show you the whole yard there and uh, get a few new surprises over at the new yard as well. So we'll show you those and get you all kind of familiar with what, what we've changed out. You may remember we sold a few bits of equipment over at the uh, at the old place before we uh, before we moved on. So that will be the case as well. All right, so the hay is in there working away. We're just going to stick in a couple of silage bales here as well. Uh, so we're just kind of still figuring out the logistics around here, making sure that everything is working well. Gotta be careful of those overhead power lines though, because they're pretty low. Uh, that could be disastrous. Uh, okie dokie. Perfect. So, a lot of maneuverability still with this JCB, despite having that extra size and power, which is what we wanted, so that's going to be good. Uh, and like I say, it's going to work well having this one down here and having the class up at the other end there. We'll have two big loaders for across the yard, which is kind of what I was looking for. So, I uh, don't need to worry about having to move one to get up to each end. Like, we uh, we also have the same... Oh, I've just hit that. Oh, dear. So how much I'm still getting used to this yard, doesn't it? Lord, I need to figure out where the best place to do all this is. I'm sure that will come over time. Alright, stick a silage bale in there. Alright, so we're going to go get this cut fed for the first time here on Autumnwood Farm. We're going to get stuck into it. It's a beginning of a new chapter for sure and I cannot wait. Uh, what we'll do, like I mentioned, we're going to bring you along for the ride. Uh, get off the edge there. There you go. Uh, so there's a lot of, to kind of get involved with. There's a lot for us to kind of figure out and understand properly with the farm. Make sure that we know exactly what's going on with it and make sure we get ourselves all up to a good standing. So, uh, but yeah. Come along for the ride with us as we do that. Uh, Simulation for the Nation is going to be bringing you all of the vlogs uh, that we make here as well. Like I say, we'll start with a, a double header. I think we'll be, I'm going to send him another video for tomorrow, uh, which should be Sunday, I think, where we'll be able to see everything that's going on there. Uh, make sure that we get all of the, uh, get, capture everything from the second farm. And then we'll probably go for a little bit of a drive around the area as well, just so we can try to, oh, let's get this done. Just so we can try and make sure that we, uh, Get the rest of our bales over and get that machinery brought over as well, so that'll be exciting. Uh, get this all opened up though. I need a little bit more space than this lab, I think. Figure out where I am. Uh, let's move that John Deere again. Uh, but yeah, ultimately that is it for now. So thank you ever so much for watching. My name is Frank and I do hope you have enjoyed. Uh, we'll bring you um, more updates as we get them. Until now though, we're, we're home. We've moved home. We are coming to you from Chellington Valley at Autumn Wood Farm. And don't forget to come along tomorrow to see what farm number two looks like until then though have yourself a good day enjoy what you're doing as always stay safe and uh we shall see you in the next one catch you later